Hey, what's going on, heroes? Welcome to the brand new horror experience that is Outlast 2. The sequel to the hit horror game experience, Outlast, from 2015. Uh, I did play a Let's Play of that game fairly recently on my channel, within the last year. And it's kind of a sequel in the same... Listen to this music. This music is intense. But it's kind of a sequel in the same sense that uh, Resident Evil 7 is a sequel. Uh, by that I mean similar mechanics, uh, similar theme, but not really similar story or even connected, at least as far as I know. From my understanding, we're dealing with some sort of weird country cult now that doesn't like outsiders. So, uh, beautiful start screen, but we're just going to hop right into the game here. Let's see what we got. Uh, hard, nightmare. Mm, there's a lot of difficulties here. Let's go hard. Graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. Lynn Langerman is an investigative journalist seeking the answers behind a pregnant woman murdered under impossible circumstances in rural Arizona. You are Blake Langerman, her husband, assistant, and cameraman. Record everything. Neither of you are fighters. To navigate the horrors waiting for you in the desert, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. The Lion of Adam, corrupted beyond salvation by the Lion of Cain, circumcised but stiff-necked, uncircumcised of heart, and ill-grown of your father's lust. Noth, 2-3. So this guy's writing his own... From my understanding, Noth is the leader of this cult. So apparently he's writing his own scripture. I can't see anything. It's really, really dark. Come in. Weird looking. Now. Something you about her neck. For some sort of factory? Yeah. We can look, but there's nothing out here. It does look pretty empty. All the mercury in that woman's blood. She had to have spent at least a decade downstream from some pretty heavy industry. If you say so, man, you bought the time. We should record an intro while we're up here. Production value? Sure. There's my camera. It's nicer How than. Uh, with this thing on? Audio's gonna be crap. We'll have to. Whoa! What the fuck? Fuck! Oh my god, wears glasses. The panel's a little soft, but uh, well, we're good. Oh, that was exciting. Get as much of the landscape behind me as you can. I can't remember. Yeah, we're good. Hum, hum. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Have a soup pie. Have a soup pie. Okay. I'm Lynn Langerman, here for Newstomorrow.net. We're flying past this is a the Havasupai Indian Reservation in central Arizona in search of the origins of murder victims. Hey, Lynn, Doe. Um, I don't think you should say murdered. We don't know that. Oh, I'll say she strangled herself to death. That's what the police report says. We may play this before the doctor interviews. If this falls on the first 30, we need to get the word murder in there. We should probably mention the fetus, too. I mean, how it just... Here, let me try a version that can serve as an intro for the whole piece. Tell me when we're good. Okay. We're good. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found still. wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from the nearest... Oh. What on earth just happened? Oh, hey, stay in the chopper. Stay in the chopper. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I got chills. Welcome to Outlast 2. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. 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 Okay. This must be a flashback. Is this to talk about that woman, Jessica? Because it looks like we're in school. Catholic school? Wow. 
My guy walks really, really slow. Yeah, this is like some kind of Catholic school. Anything else in the locker? No, just to Jessica, first place. Okay. Alright, they won't let me go that way. Okay, can we stop with the screen tearing? I guess this is as fast as I can walk. Yeah, I look like I'm in... This is definitely some kind of Catholic school. Based on my attire and based on the cross on the wall. What's with the whales of the damned? Well, it is Catholic school. Oh, I'm sorry, that joke is chills. Okay. Miles Upshur, I think, was the name of the guy we played in the first Outlast. I honestly can't quite remember. Oh. I am pinned under a piece of the chopper. There's my uh, camera. Where is my character's... Tap repeatedly! Yes. Oh, look. I'm on the edge of a cliff that I could have potentially fallen off of. Looks like that's where the rest of the chopper landed. Fuck! How do I pull up the camera? Right trigger Lin. to pull up the camera. Find Lynn. Nothing matters but Lynn. Review footage. Okay. So this is different. They've put a little more emphasis on the camera. that screech and then it cuts out there I guess okay so I'm on standby I'm not sure how I'm supposed to record I'm not supposed to get down okay there's night vision mode Okay, this looks like my way down here. Press space while moving forward. Jump! I've noticed that I'm actually playing this one on the PC as opposed to the first one which I played on the Xbox. So how do I run? Shift? Shift is how I run. Important events will automatically be recorded when your camera is raised. It means you're aiming correctly at the recording event. Aim at the event to the red circle is full to successfully capture the moment. Oh shit! Jesus! Is... No, there's no bodies. She's not in here. Lynn! Lynn! So it captures all of my movements. So this is all personalized. That's pretty cool. I don't see a count of batteries. Maybe I can always... Let's see. That seems to be my only way forward. I really like how they've put a lot more into the camera this time. Last time, well, the camera was a neat little trick, but you could have easily just ignored it uh, playing through the game. Uh, but the only thing you really needed it for was the <gasps> night vision. Oh, oh, fuck me! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, wow. That I didn't notice that at first. Did not happen in the crash! Fuck this! 
Yeah, that did not happen in the crash. It's kind of weird. It sounds like he's talking to himself. Alright, so... The crucified pilot. Yeah, that did not happen in the crash. Pilot. I don't even remember his name. What the fuck kind of people would skin somebody alive? Oh. Jesus Christ, Lynn. He was skinned alive? I couldn't really tell what was going on, but yeah, I guess I see that now. I mean, you hope that he... I mean, on one hand, you hope he was alive. Oh... Okay. That look back function is always really scary. Left shift to run. Oh, okay. Whoa, that's what I get for looking behind me. What am I looking down? Oh, thank God. I thought we miles from anything. Okay, so we've captured. So objectives are on here as well. I'm not supposed to mean anything for miles. But I wasn't alone out here. Fuck, I wasn't alone out here. So, I'm trying to see if there's a way. Objective find Lynn. Okay. Lost and hurt. I feel like that's like telling predators, hey man, I'm confused and weakened. Come kill me. Let me figure out how to crouch. Something was in the woods back here. I heard it. I heard the scrapes. Oh dear. Oh dear. I hear... A whole lot of moving around. Oh dear. Okay. Is anybody there? Please! Hey. Hey, man. Oh shit. Oh yeah, shit, he's you're dead. My dear sweet time, no, my dear sweet Ellie, I can't bear what we've done, nor being apart from our little ones, so I'm going over and hoping you forgive me for leaving you behind, and God forgives me this last trespass. I know that they had to be offered up, but I'm all tore up inside and can't live no more. Hopefully the end will come soon and we can be together again, unless God burns me forever for this sin. Until then, I hope you find what woman's comfort you need in the arms of Papa Nolf. Yours forever, Tom. It is dark in here. I can't see much anything, but that appears to be a battery. Yes! It sounded like a door opening. Oh, what was that? Okay. Okay. I thought that was an altar. That creeped me out quite a bit. Ooh. Someone's in there. Uh, okay, I'll leave you alone. Enjoy your day. It is really, really dark out here. How do I crouch? That is how I crouch. Good. Oh, that's not how I crouch. That's how I crawl. Is there a way to just crouch? Wow. Oh. Microphone. Wow, they added a lot more to this camera, but I guess that makes sense when you consider that this guy was a cameraman. Flesh is great. <gasps> Fat knocks. Sacrifice. Who's? Sacrifice. The camera is really good at picking up the sound. He, he, he muttering sacrifice. Lion father alas. Lion father alas. Lion father alas. 
So I found a, a really cool function. I can't open that door. To peek Q or E. I can't get in here. I'm in some kind of town. Okay, I'm super paranoid right now. Yeah, that's disgusting. That's really disgusting. Okay. We are in the town here. I have no batteries. Mm. I have no batteries. That looks like heavy weapons guy in there. Someone's screaming. So, I'm hoping that, I wonder if that's supposed to be Father Noth. I need batteries. Bandages. Find Lin. Okay, Nothing okay, that's cool. So I can see down there in my pocket, I've got a... Uh, I've got no batteries and I've got two bandages. So that's that's kind of neat how they've done that. Makes it more immersive. And also means that that's not exactly something you'll be able to do in the middle of running. Dear Father, our loving God continues to bless me with visions and I know more certain than ever that the enemy is nearer with every day. I was scrubbing the stains from the floor of Daniel's room when the blessed music rose inside me and sank me into true sight. Where I saw a creature like the burning sun, but with inward rings of teeth upon teeth, and dangling beneath the limbs that I took to be arms, but were cocks that rose in childing purpose. Wow. And as this monstrous sun descended, it f the earth and birthed some great and slouching horror from the fire. I was filled with the same fear so great that I could not breathe nor move, and saw myself all those years back blinding Daniel with the lie and tried to weep, but could not, and when I woke, I found myself wet with lusting, painfully desirous to feel a man inside me, and the feeling was not so far different from the fear. I tried to comfort myself with your teachings, terrors as joy in the movement of God, but I would take greater comfort in your manhood, and send me in a firm... Wow, this girl is... A wow. That the Antichrist will be strangled in my womb. The most faithful of your flock, in holy longing, Lisa. I got a feeling this is one of those like cults where basically uh, the guy, this is probably him, uh, just talks the woman into being. Oh, I can hunt, crawl under beds. Oh, okay. I got a little confused. I got to turn around there. So C is for crawl. How do I crouch? I guess I can't crouch. I'm not sure what that is. I can't really see. That's... Oh, that's fucked up. What am I recording? I can't see anything, but apparently I'm recording something. Tragedy wall, topped with barbed wire. I could feel tension in my skin. Somebody watching me. Tragedy wall? Oh, I see the cross there now. Yes. Whoa! 
Okay. I am unbelievably paranoid. Some doors have deadbolts that can be used to lock or unlock the door. Can't believe I am already out of batteries. Unlock and open. Oh, I see the deadbolts now. Okay. Battery! Yes! Thank you so much. So, right now, things aren't too scary yet. There was just that cheap jump scare, but... I got a feeling that's gonna change. Okay, that's locked, but it's also kind of like boarded over, so I don't know what I was expecting. Left control to crouch. Okay. Shift to run, left control to crouch, alt to look behind me. Oh, the music's picking up. F for night vision, V for microphone. C for crawl. That's for crouch. Satanus indivicante. What does that mean? God. I guess it helps that this guy probably went to Catholic school, so he knows a thing or two about Latin. Okay. Midwife's Lament. The baby is coming. Ready the knife. The baby is coming. Knight's midwife. Mother to the enemy, stained within. God's creation, saved with sin. Hallelujah, stay the storm. No longer must we wait. Come the dawn, the enemy born to die in temple gate. The baby is growing. Her belly swells. The baby is growing. Sin from hell. Ezekiel waits, a sharpening his blade. Gather the gate. At the gate, we kneel and pray. We repeat the chorus. Flies, chains, ropes, some horrific demon doll thing. This game. What in? God. That's a lot of bodies. Okay. Temple gate. I wonder what that is. Seems to be so sounds like some kind of ritual that they believe in. And there's baby dolls everywhere. It seems like they've killed all the children. They believe it's like they believe in killing the children. Okay, I can barely see. What was that? Collapsed barn. By the broken knife, Legion fettered every man chained. If any man has an ear, he's at least in captivity. Please baptism for the spider eyed lamb. Please follow heaven's fear. That's creepy. There we go. Is someone praying in the Okay. Embers. Oh, that's... 
That's really close by. That's supposed to happen. No, that wasn't supposed to happen. That's what I get from being a little too eager to explore. The second I turn my back, okay, this went from scary to irritating real quick. I didn't get stabbed this time, so that's progress. <sighs> ah! Why is this person so hard? Can I get some clues? Some hints, please. Show subtitles. Yes. Toggle crouch. Reduce head motion. I've died to this person I don't know how many times now. You see, at least in the original Outlast, they give you hints when you died repeatedly like this. So we're going to change our difficulty to normal and see if that helps. I don't like having to scale it down like that. I'm not a pants. On. That doesn't. I don't think this is improving. I just keep my eyes on her. I felt like I was making more progress that time. 
but um yeah I don't know what to do here I'm gonna have to take a moment to look this up all right so near as I can tell I was kind of doing the right thing I basically have to get her attention and then back up I can't hide from her I have to basically juke her around this shack the problem being that apparently I'm not moving fast enough I have to go in the house that she comes out of. I don't see the house. Run, 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 run. Oh. It said to go in the house. How do I go in the house? Okay, but I'm making progress. Ugh. Okay, I gotta wait till she starts to come in. Under the fence, under the fence. Oh, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we're finally clear of that nonsense. Oh, dear. Okay, we're not clear, clear yet. Oh, I think I see what I need to do. I gotta use it to get up there. Okay. Oh dear. I better be careful because I feel like. Oh! <laughs> He's blind without his glasses. God. Oh, Do you Jesus! Want him? Who? Then you'll have. God wants to be dead. Okay. Uh, you creepy lady. You creepy. Inside the barn. I got a feeling that, um. I need more batteries, really, is what I need. But I don't. I got a feeling I'm not gonna find them. Oh, I can hide in the barrel! Well, joy. That's my footsteps. Left control to hide and waste high plants. Do I need to hide? Do I have reason to hide?
I see him out there. Lynn. Nothing matters but Lynn. Okay, in the grass, in the grass. That gets me some safety. I can look at my inventory. Got one battery and two bandages. Okay, so that could have gone better, but it definitely could have gone worse. Past them. It's like they're
This would be North talking. We stand in opposition to the Antichrist. If we hope to be the we, we cannot only try to be like Jesus. We need to be like God. And now, God has sent us this woman. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a familiar saying from the sky. Okay, I need to go save her. I lay these hands on this disabled center and ask that you reveal the truth. Pray with me, children. God, 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 my head. I have no idea where I'm going. But I'm scared what they're going to do to her. Okay, there's a hole there. As you got Papa Noth here, I'm asking that you tell him a worrisome story that I hope is only my fears and nothing factual. The chief among his deacons, Val, came to be before sunrise this morning with an offer that was not fully described. Val acted like somebody offering something secret and sexual in nature. But by my knowledge of Val and his character, it frightened me terribly and I would not accept any such invitation. Val would not further explain, told me that there are places in our hearts Papa Noth cannot reach. Though truth be told, Val seemed more interested in other areas of my body. I asked Val to return this evening once I had a chance to think it over, but it is only so that Noth may send some men of firm character to secretly witness what I suspect is blasphemy and betrayal, and cut it off before any harm is done. I hope Papa can help, as I am dreadfully scared. Ruth. Ad inferipa espera? I'm a little lost here now. There we go, I see where I need to go. I fully expect to get grabbed by one of these creeps. No, nope. this door needs a key. I don't think he has a key. I'm not sure who would. Hey man, you got a key? Yeah, I think this is just some sort of weird fetish cult where all the women uh, get have sex with this one man and any other man who seems like he even slightly opposes it gets labeled a blasphemer and then they kill them. That's the only thing I can think of that makes the least bit of sense here. What about the woman that was praying here? There's no key out there. Found another battery, which is cool, I guess, but I need a key. Oh, there it is. It wasn't flashing before. Shit. Oh, the fake, mother of harlots, and the horrors of the 
Okay. Okay, she got free, thank goodness. <clears throat> oh god, Blake. Are you okay? No. What the fuck? I don't know. Oh shit. Blair. We have to run. Hey! Anywhere but here. Okay. So that will be the stopping point for this first episode. I am really interested to see what's going on here. Like, it could just be a, this weird cult, but then I don't, that doesn't explain the weird flashes of light. So, that's all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I certainly had a, a blast once I finally got past the crazy lady with the pickaxe. Uh, so until next time, heroes, I'm Poji Force, and you stay awesome. Take care. <laughs>